Remember athletes, it's about consistency first, then intensity. Transformation is about changing who we are through our habits. Your path to success, it's a journey. You are unstoppable. You are an athlete. Every day that we wake up able to enjoy the day with the health that we have is a gift. You know the goal is to become 1% better every single day. Your workout is done and your results are there. Unleash that unstoppable force within you. What's up athletes, welcome back. Today we're doing a 10 minute total upper body and arm sculpt and all you're going to need to follow along is just a light pair of dumbbells. A light pair of dumbbells. This one is going to be a doozy and this one is going to be the one that you're gonna to wanna to save and come back and repeat again. Now I guarantee if you do this workout every single day for 10 days, you're gonna get noticeable results in your arms. And then I would love for you to message me, Sherry at SherryShaban.com and show me those photos and show me that transformation because this one makes it count. All right, so let's get started. This is gonna be a wild card workout. I'm gonna show you your first exercise. We're gonna work for 60 seconds without break. And then you're gonna always check this box above that'll tell you what is coming up next. Now. I'm going to be using an elevated surface today to do an elevated hip lift. So for every single upper body movement that is in a horizontal position, I'm going to be using this box. Then I'll quickly show you how I mount on and off. So quickly just start in that seated position, slide down, you'll put your shoulders onto that surface. Now this could be a couch, this could be a chair, this could be a bench that you have nearby. If you don't have this nearby and you're just getting started today, then I'd like for you to join me on the mat. So for every single exercise that you find me in that horizontal position, you're just gonna follow me over here and gonna just lift up the hips, pressing through the heels, and then follow me in that exact same exercise in this position. All right, athletes, are you ready to get started? So remember, working for 60 seconds without any breaks. I want you to grab your dumbbells, and now this is an opportunity for you to change the weights because we're not gonna stop for 10 minutes. We're going to be holding on to these dumbbells the whole entire time. Today I'm using eights, pretty nervous about these eights, I have to admit and I'm just gonna slow it down, breathe through the movement. However, if you're using a weight where you're noticing that your form is starting to go, you're starting to squirm through certain movements, then I really recommend that you go lighter. It's always better to start lighter today, and then the next time you repeat, go a little bit heavier and you'll have that feedback. All right, athletes, our first movement today, we're gonna come on over either onto the mat, if you're following me there, or onto your elevated surface. You're gonna slide all the way down so that your shoulders are on your surface, you're gonna relax your head. You may see me lift up the head just to check the time, but I want you to keep your head down as much as possible unless you need to just do a quick check. Lift up the hips, squeeze through the glutes, but you're squeezing through the glutes by pressing your heels into the floor. And from here, you're just gonna come up and do a press. So I come all the way down and then I come all the way up and I bring my weight together. All right, athletes, are you ready? Remember, working for 60 seconds, and I'm gonna move this up here just a little bit and getting going here in three, two, one, and go. All right, so grab your weights, try and get into this position as quickly as possible, lift up through the hips, and then you wanna exhale every single time you press the weights up. And eight pounds, by the way, athletes, for me is considered a, a lighter weight, and so I'm even questioning the weight that I chose today, although I feel like in just a moment, I'm gonna get that feedback because today we're working strength endurance. So it's very different than strength workout, which really is low reps, super heavy weight. Today we're using light weight and then high rep count. All right, so about 15 seconds left. Then you'll notice today that even though we are working the arms and the upper body, you're gonna really feel that posterior chain, which I know you're feeling your glutes right now. All right, so we're gonna just finish this up and then we're gonna bring the weights so that they're facing each other and then we're gonna get into flies. So again, push through the heels, watch those hips, don't let them fall, even though we are working the upper body, still wanting to really get a little bit more involvement and activation everywhere else. All right, good work. And now I always keep a little bit of a bend in the elbow here. 
and I recommend to do that because really important that we're not locking the joint and if we lock the joint we could risk a potential injury and then really feel that pull in the pecs good work continue to breathe here you may have heard that saying that it's not about how heavy the load is but how long you carry it for all right from here you're gonna keep your elbows locked facing the ceiling reach back and then bring the weights up so again el bend at the elbows reach back bring the elbows up and then extend the elbows so bend elbows reach back really far don't drop the hips elbows back up and then extend and these are skull crushers i have a little bit less range of motion on my full extension here however it's because of the box but if you're able to reach a little bit lower go ahead without sacrificing the shoulder or the elbow continue to breathe here nice 20 seconds doing great watch those hips i know you must be feeling it too good work and next we're gonna come into a standing position just continue to breathe through here all right let's go up into that standing position and we're gonna come up for a shoulder press so squeeze the glutes and then bring the pubic bone to the belly button exhale as you press all the way up doing good continue to drive the breath synchronizing it with the movement I like to exhale on the effort when I'm doing any movement where I feel the strain and just it's almost as though I'm exhaling that strain out and that's it continue to breathe that's what's really important and so we are almost four minutes in and I'm already feeling my shoulders I'm feeling my triceps as well and it's as if all those exercises that we started off with are just starting to accumulate all right now we're gonna bring the weights down and now lead up with the elbows upright so this is an upright row just want to bring the weights up to mid chest so just where the bottom of the armpit is. That's it, continue to breathe here. And remember again, this is really important to just focus on the breath and then connect with the shoulder blades in the back. Can you pull the shoulder blades down and back? So give yourself a little bit more stability. Just really focus on keeping the shoulder blades down and back that's it again exhale on the effort doing good I know feeling it too and in just a moment we're gonna go ahead and fold forward and we're gonna do a bent over row right now and then I'm gonna show you if you do have a back issue what you could do is support one hand you could support one hand over here and then just follow along like this or come on over and then pull the elbows back. Make sure that they're not at a 90 degree angle, but just maybe at a 35 or 45 degree angle. And now again, really focus on those shoulder blades. So pulling the shoulder blades back and down. That's it, continue to breathe here. Just giving you so another angle here. Really seeing that the back is flat and it's not about how far forward you are folding but instead just really keeping that back nice and straight that's it good work and now we're going to bring those elbows out at 90 degrees in just a moment so right now our elbows are neutral focusing on bring the shoulder blades back and down and now at an, a 90 degree angle instead i want you to think about they're almost being like a flying motion okay so more like a reverse fly here elbows are bent but leading up with the elbows again shoulder blades are back and down really seeing that difference 
in the way you're pulling the shoulder blades down and then noticing that it's actually targeting a completely different part of the back. <sighs> Nicely done, that's it, doing good. This is getting heavy for me. How's it going athletes? I would love to hear from you. I wanna know if you're feeling the arm burn, how's this going for you? Do you think that you could keep this up for 10 days? I totally think you can. And now we're gonna stand, we're gonna do a hammer curl with the press and then on the way down, just controlling that hammer curl. So that's the challenge for you athletes. Can you do this workout every single day for 10 days? And now if you've done this workout correctly, you're not gonna have a need to repeat it twice in one day. And so what does that mean? That means to find a weight that by the end of the 10 minutes, you really feel like your arms are exhausted. They've, they've worked. You feel like you could not repeat again. And so try to find that weight. And then as you do this over the 10 days, you'll be getting stronger. And that would also mean that give yourself some space to progress in that weight. So to go up in the weight. So maybe if you're working with a 10 pound, you'll come up to 12 pounds or 15 pounds over those 10 days. I'm starting off with eight pounds today. <sighs> All right, and now we're gonna do an alternating front and lateral raise. <sighs> and now to modify this, you could bend your elbows a little bit or keep your arms straight, just slow it down. We're saving the best for last. <sighs> Doing good, that's it. So in order for us to grow, we need resistance. And just think about how when you challenge yourself through resistance in a workout and you're lifting a little bit heavier, you're struggling a little bit through your weights without breaking your form, just how much that builds strength. And so we can also translate this to some experiences that we have in life. And notice how when we have to go through a little bit of resistance, even though we still feel aligned, that's how we end up growing. All right, now, last one here, we're gonna bend over. We're gonna do reverse fly, starting with the weights together. I want you to pull the weights out, leading up with the pinkies. So reverse flies, but leading up with the pinkies, and I'm rotating the arm in. So this is our last one today. Just remember to breathe. I know, I'm feeling it too gonna give you every single angle here but I want you to know I'm suffering alongside with you in such a great way feeling such a good burn really now focusing on digging the heels into the floor pulling the knees out and just bringing awareness elsewhere in the body continuing to breathe we got this athletes come on 15 seconds completing today's workout Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and break. We made it, oh man, that feels so good. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling super jacked right now. So remember, 10 days in a row, doing this once a day for 10 days is going to give you those results. You're gonna see it in no time. Just remember to challenge yourself. Use a weight that challenges you so that you feel yourself progressing. And then as you notice that you're getting stronger, add a little bit more weight, increase the intensity just a little bit more. All right, athletes, if you've liked this, give me a thumbs up, comment below, let me know how this went for you. And remember, if you are new here, to go ahead and subscribe so that we keep training together. All right, let's go refuel, rehydrate, and meet up in the next one. You got this.